So in this tutorial we'll go into text-to-speech um, and the idea is that given some text the computer will speak that text in a uh, good language. So the first module we'll need is PyTTSX. So let's install that. And now we can use it. So let's create a program. Uh, let's make the hello world. And we start by initializing the engine, the speech engine. And we let it say something. So, hello world. Finally, uh, we let it sa say something and we wait for the output. So, if we run this, we don't hear anything because the sound is off. Make sure your sound is on. Hello world. So there you go. It's actually said uh, the text we gave to it. So if you change here that value to YouTube, it would say that. Hello YouTube. So this is the program using the Pi TTSX uh, module, but. Um, as you notice, it's very, uh, it sounds very robotic. So, let's go into the next module. Uh, so just remove that program and install the program called eSpeak. And the eSpeak program is just another speech engine. So, you can have a very simple program. Uh, so let's just make the same hello world in this case it's just an operating system program so we call eSpeak with string hello world and that's it it will say the text hello world, hello world. so it's the same uh, type of voice so it doesn't really matter if you use this eSpeak or the Pi TTSX uh, module for uh, speech uh, output um, but the speech engines are uh, very different in that sense that they have different uh, quality in sounding natural or not natural so another module uh, we can use is the GTTS module so let's just install that and we'll create a program and we'll see how this one sounds so now we specify our input hello world the language and we'll save the the output into an mp3 file and finally we'll play that uh, that output I think we can use MPEG 321 program so we have two imports first is the Google speech engine and the operating system module we initialize the, the engine with our text string and with the language we will save the output to an mp3 and we'll run the program In this case, MPEG 1 to 3 is not installed, so let's just install that. Now, once we run it, Hello world. it's a much more natural sound in this uh, speech program. Of course you can specify any text you want, so uh, hello. Hello YouTube, this is a speech engine. So it sounds more natural. Um, but these are three different modules or ways you can uh, make Python speak to you.